right, well, you can argue in terms of prospects coming up in this division, this man is as well-rounded as any fighter in the weight class. Tonight believes he'll have the striking advantage, but not afraid to grapple if the fight goes to the ground as well. Well, when you possess that type of skill, when you have all the abilities, you're not afraid of where the fight goes. This man believes that he's just better. And he has proven that every time he stepped up to the octagon. He is well-rounded. And many say it, but this kid is well-rounded. And he has shown it. In a All right, so here's a fighter that a lot of people have been talking about here during fight week, really just because of the nature of his skill set. I haven't seen much in terms of a glaring weakness on film. Your thoughts? It, it doesn't seem like there is one. You know, when you're watching the film and you're critiquing him, there's not much to critique. When you're trying to break down where the weaknesses are, there aren't many. The guy can wrestle. He can grapple. He's got tremendous cardio, great top control, insane durability. He's got it all. He's one of the best mixed martial arts in an MMA arsenal. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Nice punch to the head. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Oh my goodness, these boys are going at it. Slips the punch nicely there. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh man, both of these guys can really... Just misses with the right. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Unable to connect there. Oh, good jab to the body by Rachmanov. Good jab. Nice jab. Oh, a huge block there. Nice single. Hey, elbow. Elbow. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow, that is great submission defense. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, nice. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Push kick there to the body. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never by Rachmanov. Beautiful kick to the body. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. 30 seconds to go in the round. Keep moving, and then take shots. Good stick. 20 seconds to go in round one. Nice straight right lance. Oh, flying knee right to the melon. Nice feedback right hand, my goodness. Holy oh, oh, smokes.
Round two. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. You saw him work his submission game a bit in the previous round, and he is all offense, man. He's not afraid to get into a bad position to try to close the fence. Most times, we don't see guys that attack as much off of their back. This guy, he's never had any place to rest. Oh, slips and rips. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. He landed that inside leg kick. He's taking too many of those inside low kicks, man. That leg is getting beat up. Big punch lands through the middle. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. On point with that jab today. Rachmanov gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Making all these shots count. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Cool fighter starting to open up a little bit. Rachmanov's blocking well. Block that kick to the body. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there. And way. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh, there's... Oh! He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh! All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is... He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Rachmanov's eye is closing up. Attack that cut. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late. Attempting an off ball here. I think he's got it. It's deep. He's got it locked in. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Massive shot from the top. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the champion. Looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> when I didn't know nothing but butt mash. You two guys have butt mash to the point that neither one of you... Oh, man! 
Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, oh big ground strikes continue to land. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, curve, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two... Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This oh! It's been a crazy fight. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience... Herb Dean steps in! Oh, my God! Unbelievable. So how about that? What a moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing... All right, we set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, the future, Ian Machado Gary! Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission